Academic Decathlon is a competition where we compete in 10 different academic events at the local level, at the county level, at the state level, and then a nationwide it's a competition. I've been coaching Academic Decathlon at JP High School for 16 years. And Patty Galino and Tom James uh, have been my assistant coaches. The first year that we began, um, we came in 16th place and the year before that the team had had struggled so I took over a program that was in transition um, the second year that we competed we rose up to, to um, fifth place and that was really a, a big deal because we Chafee High School hadn't been in the top five for, for quite a few years uh, the following year we, we, we took third and um, and then from that point on we continued to kind of bounce back and forth between third, fifth, fourth. Uh, we finally broke through in 2009 with the county championship. And, uh, and we've been successful four out of the past five years in winning county. For years, our nemesis was Redlands High School. They have been traditionally the power in San Bernardino County. Um, and they've won the competition more than any other school. So they were the school that we, you know, we w really wanted to beat. And we did beat them a couple of times early on in our program, but it, it was a years where they did not win the county. Um, so it, it took us 12 years uh, to finally get past Redlands, and that was in 2009. And that was really a, a, a thrill because, you know, they were the, they were the standard by which other teams kind of gauged uh, their level of success um, in the county. Uh, we have gone on to beat Redlands now for one of the past five years, um, and so um, the rivalry continues. For the first 12 years, we were the underdogs, and people were rooting for us to unseat the champion, and now um, we've become the program to beat in the county, and now we're seen as the powerhouse and others are looking to us as we used to look towards Redlands. All of this is worth it because in the end, all our hard work, it actually pays off. Like we won county this year, and all those hours of studying and spending all our time in the classroom really paid off, and all these hours we actually spend in the classroom with all 25 of us at one point for county really bond, made us bond and we became a, like a family. So we, we kind of, I guess we did learn how to be a, like a family because we learned all those little things that families learn about each other. It's a really dynamic, energetic um, you know, atmosphere. Um, a lot of it is with the kids teaching themselves and coming up with new ways of, of teaching themselves material, which is uh, something that's just really incredible to, to see as a teacher who's and teaching for a number of years, seeing how well these students actually teach each other um, is really quite inspirational. Uh, this year at County, we, we took a lot of medals home. Uh, we won first place and it was really an amazing experience uh, sitting there waiting. You know, when they're going through, they start at, you know, 10th place and you have to wait and wait and wait, you know, until they come to like third and then there's just that anticipation. You're waiting to see if they call first and it was really frightening even though you know we won so many medals and so many trophies, you know, we have to be the winners and then you still think, oh my god, maybe we didn't do so well. And then there's that amazing moment when they say, Chiefy, and then everyone jumps up and we all scream and you just feel exhilarated and I just feel like I've achieved and I'm like, I really want to hold on to that moment forever. You know, I believe that, that humor is is critical towards keeping the uh, the atmosphere practices light um, and, and fun. Um, I, I'm not a stand-up comedian, but for some reason I, I seem to have some quirky, strange ability to be able to, to say funny things um, at um, certain times, some of them somewhat inopportune, but I guess maybe that's what makes it funny as well. Mr. Mercado is the best. I couldn't ask for a better advisor when it comes to academic decathlon. He's like a second father to me and he's really 
amazingly supportive and without him we wouldn't have the team that we have. He really builds us up and makes sure that we get to where we need to be. Number one, um, I, I, I certainly could not, you know, um, can't put a value on the relationships that um, have been developed with students over the years. Uh, and um, some of the students who I've worked with very early on in my career, you know, I still keep in touch with. Over the years, we've made a lot of memories together. Particularly this year, we were really close because the year before, there were, there were a few troubles with the team. But this year, I feel like all of the younger underclassmen are my brothers and sisters. And when I graduate, I'm really going to miss what we had together. If I had the choice of going back um, and doing this all over again, um, gosh, that's a... It's actually an easy question. Even though it, uh, there's a tremendous amount of work uh, and commitment that goes into this, um, very often to the detriment of other things. I, uh, I absolutely would. The program changes lives. Uh, it would be very difficult to pass on that when you see um, just the, the incredible um, journey that these students have, have go through here in school um, with the program and then continue on in, in their lives. And so um, that's something that it's very difficult to find. And being a part of that is something that is um, very special.